Hello and welcome to this video series covering the Ascend Aeronautics video drone. In these videos I'll teach you how to charge your drone, how to sync your drone to your controller and if you are a brand new pilot I'll show you how to enter the training mode. I'll talk a little bit about the brand new range warning that has been built into this drone and finally I will cover how to connect your drone to your smartphone to review the live video feed and teach you how to save videos and photos to your phone. So let's get started with charging your drone. To charge your battery you first have to plug the provided USB charging cable into a USB power port like so. With the HD video drone the charger is neatly built into the battery. You can now take the micro USB side of the cable and insert it into the battery as shown here. You will see a red light illuminate on the battery. This means that it is now taking a charge. When the battery is fully charged, this light will turn green. You can now remove the charging cable from the battery. To insert the battery into the drone, you have to make sure the clip is facing the bottom of the drone. You can then slide the battery into the drone and lightly push until you hear a click. The battery is now properly inserted into the drone and you are nearly ready to fly. In this section of the series, I will teach you how to sync your drone to your controller. If you haven't done so already, take your fully charged battery and insert it into the back of the drone. You can then press and hold the on button on the top of the drone for two seconds. Its lights will start to flash rapidly. You can then press the on button on the controller the lights on the drone will start to flash more slowly. Then you can move the left hand stick of the controller all the way to the top until you hear a beep and all the way to the bottom until you hear another beep. The lights on the drone will now go solid. This indicates that you have successfully bound the drone to the controller and you are ready to fly. If the drone's lights continue to flash after syncing or the drone does not respond to your inputs after binding, Turn the controller and the drone off and restart the procedure. Make sure that nobody else is trying to bind to their drone in the same vicinity as this will affect the ability to sync to your drone. A brand new feature for this drone is its built-in range warning. If you fly the drone too high, the drone and controller will warn you that you are getting to the limit of the drone's range and are in danger of losing connection. When the drone's altitude exceeds 50 feet, the remote controller will emit five rapid beeps before the signal is about to be lost. The drone's indicator lights will start to flash a blue color and the remote control's buzzer will continuously emit a warning sound. Once you hear this range warning, you must bring the drone back towards you as quickly as possible. The drone does have a built-in failsafe where if the signal is lost, it will automatically enter a slow descent and land. However, we never want to get to this point. Remember, if you hear the range warning alarm, you must bring the drone back down towards you without delay. One of the great features about the Ascend Aeronautics video drone is that it has a special training mode. Training mode is designed with beginners in mind as it only allows the drone to fly very slowly. This gives you time to react and think about where you would like to fly the drone to next. This slow speed makes the drone super easy to fly. You also have a vertical height limit of 10 feet and a lower limit of three feet. This stops the user from flying the drone up into a ceiling or flying the drone too high outdoors and potentially losing sight of the drone. To enter training mode, you press and hold the speed button for three seconds. You will hear a beep and the lights will continuously flash on the drone. You can then press the takeoff button to start your flight. Once you get comfortable with the controls, you may want to enter into speed modes one, two or three. You do this by short pressing the speed button you will hear the corresponding number of beeps to your mode. One beep for the first speed, two beeps for the second speed, and three beeps for the third and fastest speed mode. 
If you haven't flown a drone before, training mode really is the best way to learn how to fly. You can connect your video drone to your phone via Wi-Fi. To do this, you must have your drone switched on and bound to your controller. When you open up the Wi-Fi menu on your mobile device, you can search for new connections. You will see the video drone show up in this menu. The last eight digits of the drone's identification name will be used as the password to connect. You will see that I have now successfully connected to the drone's Wi-Fi and I can open up the Ascend Aeronautics app. In the app, you will be asked to allow to connect to devices in your network. Tap Allow. You can now navigate to the Start button in the bottom right-hand corner of the app. Tap on the Record Video and Photos icon and you will be able to see a live view from the drone's camera. From this screen, you can take pictures or start a video recording. You will need to give the app permission to access the photo album on your device to save the photos or videos directly to your phone. Tap Allow access to all photos. If you have a micro SD card inserted into the drone, it will record exactly what you are seeing on your phone but in a higher resolution. If you're looking for the maximum image quality, it is always best to use a micro SD card and remove the footage from this card after your flight. Once you turn the drone off, you will disconnect from its Wi-Fi connection. This connection will be stored in your mobile device for the next time. When you want to reconnect the drone, you must open up your Wi-Fi menu and select the drone from the list to connect, as it won't connect automatically. If you're having trouble connecting to the drone, there is a setup menu which walks you through the connection process. There is also a tutorial on how to start and stop recording with the controller and how to save photos and videos to the micro SD card. So that's everything you need to know to get your drone connected to your Wi-Fi network. If you're still having a problem connecting to your drone, please reach out to our customer service department who will be happy to help.